welcome aboard, boys. Look at that. Look at that. The forest is full of magic today. <laughs> Back in a moment. Okay, guys. Let's have a little bit of fun. It's a beautiful day. We've been waiting for months for days like this. Okay, an introduction. Uh, you know, there's a couple of things that uh, uh, I think you should realize. And one is, when we put the bow up at first, we always pull the tip off to the left. Now, first of all, I'm talking about shooting my American-style longbow, my Howard Hill bow. It has a shelf. I'm not talking about shooting the English longbow or an Asian bow. This bow with a shelf. But I want you to see something. As soon as I tug on the string, you're going to see my arrow go left. Watch. If I put my, my arrow up and reach out, now watch the tip. Did you see it go to the left? Watch. I'm lining up. It's like a pre-aim, and now... You see, I've pulled it off to the left. I want you to realize that if you're shooting a bow like this, every time you load the bow, you put a little pressure on it, it's going to go to the left. So you have to put it back on. You have to put it back on like this. Watch. See? It's on. I deliberately put it back on. Pull it off. Put it back on. Now it's lined up to my eyes and the tip, and then I proceed with my draw, okay? So anyhow, that's just something I want you to realize, that you always have to correct your initial draw, and when you do, you'll get your hits. Okay, guys, back in a minute. Okay, guys. Take another couple of shots. for this time. You know, something that I've often said is that uh, I don't really use back tension. You know, where people are trying to describe squeezing lemons together. Well, we're trying to describe how to help you, but I don't find that to be the best way of describing it, because this arm is doing one thing, and this arm is doing another thing, so it's not like an equal squeeze. Anyhow, beyond that, I do use part of my back. It's the back of my shoulder. That's what pulls on me. My tricep back here and the back of my shoulder. Not, not the two scapulas touching. Just here. And the reason for that is my right arm is completely relaxed. From the elbow to the hand, it's just completely relaxed completely limp. It just looks strong because it's pulling, but it's really like that. So if I'm not using my, you see, you're using your bicep to pull if you're doing that. I'm not using my bicep. I'm using the tricep and the back of the shoulder mainly. So that's what pulls it back. Back here, pulls it back. This is the muscle right there. Okay. So I just wanted to tell you that, because that's important. That's how I pull. So 
I do use a part of my back, let's say. It's very important. And of course, you get some hits if you do that. Put your back into it. <laughs> back in a minute. Okay, guys. Never panic. Calm down. You know, guys, um, Second Breakfast was asking me a question. Can you see this little bump on my bow? Uh, well, I did put that there. I did build up my shelf a little bit. I don't think that it was necessary. But I did that because you see how my arrow sits on it and I can go all the way down to there or all the way down to there before I touch the shelf. So it gives me a lot of play. It's like shooting off a little fulcrum. So that's why I did that. Okay. So, uh, what is the second breakfast? That's why. Anyhow, I just said I'd leave that. You know, you get so many nice little shots in the beginning. <laughs> so, and if you have a little shelf like that, it'll help you to do that. We'll try another angle. You often hear a lone bushcraft in the skies above Canada. Okay, guys. Just being a lazy man today, not even walking around. Okay, you know guys, there's three basic kinds of traditional bows I've come to realize. One is like an English long bow, shoots off the left. One is like an Asian bow, shoots off the right. And the other is like this Howard Hill bow that has a recess. It could be all the way to center or past center or like this bow, it's one-eighth from center. A bow like this will let you shoot the arrow directly at the target, direct aiming. A bow like my English longbow is indirect aiming. The arrow is over here and the target is over my knuckle. My Asian bow, I use my thumb and I shoot off my thumb just like I shoot off my knuckle. But with this bow, I can aim it. Okay, now there's ways that shelves are adjusted also. For instance, many bows are two center cut and they shoot to the right. In that case, you can take a little bit of uh, leather 
and uh, build the side out a little bit. That's just like having uh, a, uh, an adjustable sight, you know. You just screw it a little bit and it moves out like a plunger. So those are kinds of things you can do. But uh, this bow, one eighth of an inch, and it seems to shoot fine. So that's what I, I'd like to, to tell you, that a bow like this, if you shorten that arrow so that's only about a quarter, half an inch longer than your draw, you can aim directly at the target. Uh, I think we've got, we've got our hits down here. Okay. Long bow on the left, Asian bow on the right. American long bow right down the middle. <laughs> Back in a minute. Okay, guys. It's getting darker already. Okay, guys, I guess that's going to be it for the night, you know. Already the sun is one-third down, and it's going to be dark about 7.30 or so. So, before I leave, I want to explain something. When we draw, and uh, we would have somebody like Howard Hill, Howard Hill, as he pulled back, would let his hand come in, say about six inches in front, and then come straight back. Now Horace Ford did the same type of thing. Uh, they said he paused at four inches. Well at about four inches the pressure in his arm would bring his hand in and he would aim from here. Now Horace Ford said that most people miss because they would pull themselves off you know as they came back that four inches they would pull off. Well the other way of doing it, I believe, is the way that I'm doing it. So when Horace or Howard let his hand come in here, and Horace let his hand come in here, I'm really going all the way back to my anchor first. Because when I get back to my anchor and I relax my fingers, I can see right down that arrow. Here first, relax the fingers and we can aim, okay? So that's what I suggest. Go to your anchor first. The radius, the radius of your fingers moving will direct that arrow directly at the target and if you can just keep it on there, press forward a little bit, you'll do pretty good. Anyhow, that's our last uh, few shots for the day. And there's our hits. Well, you guys have a good week. Have fun. Take care. Bye now.